okay so the next topic in uh, the chapter data handling is how do we collect the data how do we record this data let's take an example of a class which is preparing to go for a picnic the teacher asked the students to give their choice of fruits out of banana apple orange or guava oma is asked to prepare the list she prepared the list of all the children and wrote the choice of fruits against each name this list would help the teacher to distribute fruits according to their choice so let's see here she has prepared a list saying that raghav needs one well, I mean, he likes banana preeti apple amar guava and so on now if a teacher have to purchase this fruits how would she try to get the information she has to go and count for each fruit let's say banana 1 then again banana 2 banana 3 4 and say if the number of students of the list is 50 or some 60 in that case it becomes teacher a tedious job to go for the list of 50 students for each time once so at least if there are 50 students then i have to make uh, i have to go through the list of 50 students at least one uh, once time for each fruit that means i have to go four times for each fruit so that makes it 200 so 200 times i have to go to really come about to a conclusion that how many each fruit is required which is a cumbersome so let's try to make it more simple for the teacher how do i actually collect it the next option would be let's say i just take some four boxes make the name of the boxes as banana orange guava and apple and ask each student to put a pebble of their choice in these baskets then it would be easy for a teacher that she has to just go and count or for a student just to go and count the number of pebbles in this basket to actually identify that how many bananas or oranges or guava or apples are actually required that makes sense it makes it simpler but every time when you have to collect data it's not necessary or it's not uh, easy that you have a box or you have a pebbles to put it in a box so what could be the next better way option for it can i do something like this with a paper and pen i can have banana orange apple guava written and then ask each student let's say a student a has said that i need a banana i go here and mark it with a tick a student b a student b might have asked for say orange i go here and mark it with tick a student c again might have asked for a banana i go here and mark a tick a student d again might have asked for an orange i go here and mark tick so if i do this way i can then finally go and count the number of ticks so i can say that the number of ticks for banana is 8 that means a, a teacher has to five uh, by eight bananas number of ticks for oranges are three that means three students require oranges so i have to purchase three for the apple it's five so to purchase five the for guava it's four that means four guava is required which makes my life or my job very simpler with a pen and paper so you can see from the previous one how this would have come to a number of like 200 times i have to count go and counting okay in this it has been reduced to a boxes of four to this where i can simply see count and give an uh, information from a pen and paper so this is how recording of data in a proper manner will actually simplify the job will actually make it faster for you to gather the information that is required from the data let's organize and try to organize in a more simpler manner previously we had used a tick let's organize in some other manner 
in this a teacher wants to uh, let's take an example for it in this a teacher wants to know the choice of food for each student as a part of the midday meal program the teacher assigns the task of collecting this information to maria maria does so using a paper and a pencil after arranging the choices in a column she puts against a choice of food one one mark for each student making that choice that means the teacher has asked to collect the data let's say i my choice is only rice i put one tick here like this if it's only chapati i put a tick here if it's on both rice and chapati i tick here so for rice it's this chapati and both for what exactly we are trying to do is here let's say a person a has asked only for rice a tick has been put here only for chapati a tick has been put here and if it requires both rice and chapati a tick has been put here and this way for all the students we are adding a tick 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 at the end of the day i really have to count these many ticks to count these many ticks i might make a mistake how do i count it let's say i try counting like this 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Still, it becomes a cumbersome. Can I group it into two groups so that it becomes easier for me to really count it? And I can group them at the time of making or recording the data itself. Let's say I make it in a group of five: one, two, three, four, five. Then I put a space here. Again, one, two, three, four, five. Again, put a space. One, two, three, something like this. That makes sense. That I already have a group of five, five, ten, and three, thirteen. Which is easier for me to count thirteen rather than to count thirteen like this. One more better way of doing this is one, two, three, four. Put a tally. Again, one, two, three, four. Put a tally so that you don't have to count the spaces. One, two, three, four. Put a tally. One, two, three. So that comes okay. This is fifteen, and this is eighteen. So this kind of grouping mechanism is known as tally. Let's try to solve an example with tally. A person Ekka is asked to collect data for size of shoes of students in her class sixth. Her findings are recorded in the manner below. How can we tally it? or how can we say that shoes of size 4 how many number of students require or how many pairs of shoes of size 5 6 7 8 is required the data has been collected here let's say student a has is requiring a size of 5 let's put a tally here so shoes of 5 is required first then let's go this this way so a uh, column wise so next is 4 so i put a tally here next is again 5 i put a tally here next is again 4 put a tally here next is 7 oh uh, sorry 5 put a tally here next is 7 i put a tally here next is again 7 i put a tally here 6 here again 6 here 5 it 5 8 then 7 then 6 then 7 5 i'm already crossing the fifth one so i have to make it a tally 6 7 five then here 7 again i'm crossing here i make a tally 4 again 7 Six, 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 three times. So one, again a tally that makes it, and the third one, five, five. So one, two, one time four, again six, again six. Then we have eight, again six. We have four, four is. Tally. Then we have seven. 
again 5 and then the 6 let's check it once again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this one is 8 number of students then the number of students which require 4 are 5 6 are 10 7 are 1 2 3 4 5 2 7 and 8 are 2 so basically it would have been difficult for you to count this, 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 to actually figure out this. If it's been in this, you can say, okay, it's a group of 5, 5. A group of 5 plus 3, 8. A group of 5 and a 5, it's 10. A group of 5 and 2, it's 7. And for 8, it's just a 2. So tally is another representation of or another way of organizing the data so that it's an easier for or it's a faster way to come to a conclusion what that data or what that data is trying to give some information on it so this was all about data organizing data thank you